you just purchased a Leading Edge Cook Air Barbecue Grill. Thanks to this little marvel, outdoor cooking will never be the same. The Cook Air Barbecue Grill is already pre-assembled. Using a screwdriver, firmly install the handle on the lid. Fully enjoy your Cook Air? It is essential to understand how it works and to use it according to minimum safety standards. Read all the instructions before using your Cook Air Barbecue Grill. Caution! Always be very careful when using an appliance that produces intense heat. Children should not operate this appliance. Keep the Cook Air Grill out of reach of children. Never use any fire starter products or liquid fuel with your Cook Air. Only use a ball of crumpled paper or the Cook Air Paper Fire Starter. Never use charcoal or chemically treated wood as fuel. Never use wood from coniferous trees such as cedar, fir, spruce or others. For better results, always use the Cook Air Solid Wood Fuel or species of dry hardwood. Never fill more than three quarters full the wood combustion chamber. Always use the fan on low speed for 30 to 45 seconds during ignition before raising it to high speed. Always properly position the cooking grid before setting the fan on high speed. To refuel while cooking, slide the cooking grid using the handle. Never attempt to remove or lift the cooking grid that has food on it. Always use tongs to add wood. Since the Cook Air's cooking grid is directly above the wood fire, it is strongly recommended to remove excess fat from food and drain marinated meat in order to reduce smoke and excessive flare-ups. Never use Cook Air with the lid tightly closed, except when smoking food would otherwise the heat could move to the lower section and damage the electrical mechanism. During the smoking process, set the fan on low for a maximum of two to three minutes. Once you are done cooking, set the fan speed on level two or three to allow fuel residues to burn safely. After each use of your grill, always make sure the ashes are completely cold before removing them. Put the ashes or remaining unburned wood in a non-flammable container. Always remove the batteries before transporting the unit or storing it for a long period of time. Never use your cook air indoors or in enclosed areas such as a tent or a garage. This appliance should never be left unattended while in use. Never touch the cooking grid or the exterior of your cook air while in use. Always use the wood handles or the handle ring. To avoid burns, always install the warming rack before grill ignition. To remove or manipulate the warming rack, always wait for the grill to be completely cold. Never put your face, hands or clothing directly above the grill while the unit is in use. This could result in serious burns. Never move the appliance while in use or hot. Always allow the appliance to cool down before moving it or storing it. Always make sure that the vinyl cover is properly placed and that the cord is securely below the handle ring before transporting the unit. The Cook Air barbecue grill is already pre-assembled. Using a screwdriver, firmly install the handle on the lid. Your Cook Air grill comes with the following accessories. AC adapter, cigarette lighter adapter, burner brush, warming rack, vinyl cover, wood tongs, cooking grid handle. The Cook Air grill requires a 12 volt DC energy source. Here are three ways to supply it. D alkaline batteries, AC cook air adapter, automobile cigarette lighter adapter. Cook air uses eight D alkaline batteries. 
To install the batteries in your barbecue grill, remove the cover and cooking grid. Turn the unit upside down and set down on a flat surface. Remove the cover from the battery compartment. Insert the batteries carefully, placing them according to the polarity indicated. Check that the batteries are correctly installed by pressing the control button on. The fan motor should start. Replace the cover on the battery compartment. The AC adapter supplied with your cook air extends battery life and allows to use the barbecue grill anywhere you have access to electrical power supply. Plug the adapter cord into the intended socket, then plug the other end into the approved electrical source. The Cook Air 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter is very versatile. Plug it in your car, motorhome, trailer, boat, or into any other 12 volt energy source. The control panel of your Cook Air barbecue grill was designed for easy use. Here is how it works the on button starts the fan. The off button stops the fan. The arrows set the power level of the fan to the desired level. The lowest level is 1 and the highest is 5. The stronger the fan level, the hotter the cooking surface. Place the appliance on a flat level surface at a convenient cooking height. Remove the cover and insert the handle in one of the four slots on the cooking grid. Then remove the cooking grid to be able to access the combustion chamber. Place a half strip of previously folded Cook Air fire starter paper at the bottom of the combustion chamber. A ball of crumpled newspaper may be used if you do not have any Cook Air fire starter paper. Ignite the Cook Air fire starter using a long-handled barbecue lighter or fireplace match. Never, under any circumstances, use lighter fluid, kerosene, or any other flammable liquid. Once the Cook Air fire starter paper is well ignited, using the tongs, carefully put a piece of dry wood or a pellet of Cook Air solid fuel on the fire starter in the bottom of the combustion chamber. Set the fan on low. Never. Under any circumstances, use charcoal with your Cook Air barbecue grill. Put the cooking grid back into place. Wait 30 to 45 seconds, then set the fan on high. If necessary, repeat the first steps to achieve full ignition. Caution! A new appliance must operate at least 5 to 10 minutes before being used for cooking to burn off any residue on the metal. The Cook Air grill works best when using Cook Air solid wood fuel. If you must use another wood fuel, choose a very dry hardwood species such as maple, ash, hickory, apple, or cherry. Hardwood chunks should measure no more than 5 centimeters, 2 inches, by 5 centimeters, 2 inches, and cannot be more than 7.5 centimeters, 3 inches long. Branches up to 5 centimeters, 2 inches in diameter, can also be used if they are cut in lengths no longer than 7.5 centimeters or 3 inches. Cook air can reach very high temperatures in record time. You must become familiar with the fan control to master the intensity of the cooking heat. Caution! Always remove excess fat from food and drain marinated meat in order to reduce excessive flare-ups and smoke. Contrary to other types of barbecue grills on the market, which cannot reach the high temperatures required to sear meat, 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit and plus, Cook Air allows you to sear your meat and seal in its natural juices. For meat 1 to 1 and a quarter inches thick, 2.5 to 3 centimeters, you just have to sear it on high for one and a half minutes on each side. For meat 3 quarters inch thick or 2 centimeters, one minute on each side will suffice. Once the meat is seared, given the very high temperature reached by the cook air. It is advisable to frequently turn the meat every 60 seconds until the desired cooking is reached. A new cooking experience awaits you if, just before your food is cooked, set the fan on low, place the lid on the grill, 
two to three minutes maximum. When fully ignited, the wood fuel produces a smoked wood aroma that is absorbed by the food. Every variety of wood fuel has its own characteristics and consequently produces a unique flavor of unrivaled taste. Minimum and regular maintenance is enough to ensure years of outdoor cooking enjoyment. To clean the combustion chamber, first wait until the unit is cold. Then, first set the fan on low, level one. Then, once the cooking grid is removed, loosen the ash residues left in the combustion chamber using the supplied brush in a circular motion. Get rid of the ashes safely and make sure no residue is left in the chamber. Check that the burner holes inside the combustion chamber are clear of debris or clean them using a paper clip. Precautionary measures to follow. Protect your barbecue from bad weather. Carefully dry your barbecue when wet. Use the vinyl cover when transporting your cook air and to protect it in storage, store in a cool and dry location. Before storing your cook air, Clean the combustion chamber as indicated above. Clean the cooking grid with regular household cleaner and wipe all stainless steel surfaces with a damp cloth. Make sure that the unit is on the off position to avoid draining the batteries. For seasonal storing or when transporting, remove the batteries from the appliance. Now, safely enjoy your Cook Air barbecue grill and bon appetit.